right now you're asking yourself why I put that play in this right tricks video. And the reason is because in that play you can see the next right trick we are going to talk about. So basically the trick I want to talk about is a new E mechanic I found out randomly, of course randomly, but just look at this. So what I did here, I just E the minion, one minion of the wave, and I then proceed to E that again. And the situation here is pretty standard. So if you want to clear the entire wave, what you do right now, you just wait for those three creeps to go near the flux minions. You just E again and then Q and you clear the wave and then EQ or QEQ on the cannon minion and you're fine. But actually there is a better way to clear this wave and it's uh, thanks to abusing this trick I'm going to talk about. So, so basically here I cast Q but instead of um, just waiting for the flux to spread, just look at what I do, Q, and then I instantly cast E, and I cast it E on the uh, on the cannon minion. So what happens is that the Q will proc the empowered uh, Q damage, but also this E, you see this E right here? So what did you expect here? You expect this E to do nothing, because there is no flux to minions um, around, but are you ready for this? Look at this. Boom. The E spreads for no reason, but it spreads. And then you can Q again. That's very good. I, I'm going to let you guys see that again, slowly. For no reason, for no reason, but it actually works. Look at this. Q, you can actually see that the Q procced here. You can even see that he is the uh, flux at that moment. And then when you eat that again, it's going to spread flux. Ah, that sounds really bad, but it actually works. That's why this E mechanic is really hard and can't be 100% understood, especially by a human. This is so hard. You, you can see the Q procced, and then you eat again, boom, and then E procs. Uh, then I have also other examples. I, did, I tried it in the practice tool, and now I will let you see what I've done.